So guys, we're on the south side of the Cape Cod Bay, and um, we're uh, at the mud flats right now. When we're trying to catch some crabs, some fish, maybe some snails, stuff like that. So I already caught a green crab. So uh, let's see what else we can find. But if we can turn them over. There's a baby one. Now this guy's got a good, good nipper on him. Let's see. Come on, turn over. Whoop. <laughs> okay, so the bottom of them. Let's see. If we can, do this. can I use your other shovel? Yeah. Oh, that's attached. Do you want to use this one? Yeah. I just want to see if I can tip off. There we go. Good. See the point? Mm -hmm. See that point on the bottom? Yep. That point means that that's a male. Okay, the round ones, the round bottom is going to be a female. So if you see something that looks like a dome, any any crab will be the same way. If it looks like a dome, a capital building, that's going to be the female. The pointy the one looks like a male. It looks like a tower. Just you see that shell that's on there? Sometimes you find them all over the beach. That's because they shed their shell. They call the. Call the molt. So in order to get out of that shell, what the Daddy, crab will do right is there. fill himself up with water so he gets big and puffy. And then when he gets big and puffy, the shell will crack in the back part. Daddy, when it crack in the back part, then he can crawl out the back side and then he forms a new shell on top. Don't oh, you find some other special thing now? I see you have feet, guys. Come on over to me. Ooh. How big his claw is? Where? Oh my god, that thing's huge. Oh, yeah. that's, that's, it's all closed up and weighed. This is his front end, so the front of his foot will come up here. So some interesting things here. We're at uh, low tide in the Cape Cod Bay in Dennis, Massachusetts. It's actually, this is Brewster. And that's Dennis right on the border here. And during low tide, the um, this water is very shallow. We're walking in it. And all little critters get exposed. There's clams and hermit crabs. Let's see if we can see hermit crabs move and see them. There's hermit crabs, green crabs, snails, and snot worms. They're pretty gross. Back, let me see if we can find a worm. A snot worm. They were showing me that if one of these hills, if you take one of these hills and you mess with it, Oh, there it is. Look at that. There's the worm. See that thing? Oh, it feels nasty. So you should be able to find the snot worms in here. Got one. Every one of these mounds. Just got one. Huh? I just found one. Yep. Yeah. Pretty easy. They're pretty, they're, pretty, <laughs> they're pretty pervasive today. We were out here Monday and they... So I just found a little moon snail here. Let's see if we can... See it kind of cool looking, has some cool colors. Looks like an eye. Okay, you guys see this? This is called a decorator worm. So it's just a flexible tube with um with like rocks and sand stuck to it. It's kind of like a tube that the worm uses to go down in the ground. And it could go down several feet. The worm is about eight inches long. So this little part sticks up above the sand here, and you can't pull it out because then you destroy the whole thing. They were just explaining to us that a decorator worm lives in there. Now you see this zigzag here? This is a pattern left by a snail. So if we dig on one end of it, we should find it. I'm thinking it's here. Let's see. There it is. There's a little one. See him? Pretty cool, and they leave that little trail. And you can find them. They're tiny though. Sometimes they're bigger. Ready, Dad? Go ahead. Hermit crab race? Yeah. Ready, Mom? Hermit crab race. Woohoo! Let's do this thing. Ready, Mom? Ready, Dad? Right. Here we go. Are they racing? Yeah, they're racing now. See? Whoa, whoa. Oh, there you are. Oopsies. 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 Oops
It doesn't even hurt. <laughs> One of the ladies was saying if you just hold them by here, you should not have any problems. Mm -hmm. She said you can hold them by these two. See? This guy's been chasing fish now for a half hour. He would spend all day trying to get a fish. He's trying to net a school of fish and swimming around. All right, go ahead, Gavin. You pick up a hermit. You pick up a hermit crab, Gavin, with your hands for the first time. Don't be afraid. Got him? Yep. Good. Did he bite you? Nope. Ah, he's trying to. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> go ahead, find another one and pick him up. This is the same guy. Okay. He's not going to bite you. Ah, I got you. Charles still looking for fish. Pick him up, Gavin. Take charge. You know what, Gavin? Go for a bigger one. Why? Pick up a bigger one. The bigger oh, one would snip. You got him? Yeah. What do you do? He's not going to bite you. <laughs> yeah, right. They're crabs, Dad. At the end of the name, they have crab. They're called hermit crabs. I got one, I got one, I got one, I got one. I'm going to go get three. Where'd he go? He tickles. He's tickling me. Ah! He's tickling.